Good morning, guys. Today is moving day. Let's get the truck fired up and hit the road. church parking lot. We'll get turned around and detached right here. We'll let Aaron get uh let Aaron get Bubba fired up, let him drive it over here to us. And that'll at least save us some aggravation of going the other way. We can get it up the county road that goes through over to the next major county road. But uh the good news is we can get in and out the other end. The bad news is it is super inconvenient there is uh one a major hill and one really tight turn up there it's just not ideal and don't worry you guys stick around you'll get to see it before the day is over so long story short driving that truck across the bridge and loading over here is uh is a major shortcut so we're gonna take advantage of it Stiff this morning. Get in there. It's be a lot easier to do with two hands. <laughs> I 
every time I say something will be easier to do with two hands I hold the camera you guys always call me and I should get one of those mounts where I put the camera on my head I used to do that back in the day and everybody complained I made them sick so I suffer through for you guys all right detached we are We'll go ahead and pre-pull a couple chains out because once that truck's on here, they are hard to get to. The thing that makes this bridge so difficult to get across is not that it's narrow. Obviously, if it was wider, it would help. It's how close it is to the road right here. And then they got these signs and these guardrails. This neighbor over here is really particular about his yard. Definitely want to be respectful of that. There's just not enough room to make the swing to get in here. A few of you guys, everybody wants to comment about this sign. A few of you guys have figured out how that actually works. But uh, long story short, it makes for a great comment generator. So we just keep putting in videos because it works out, works out great. But all right, Aaron's getting some air built. And hopefully, we'll be off to the races. Just fits on here just right. Turn that way a little bit. Keep going a little more. Perfect. I think so, it's gonna be close. You guys remember back when we built that boomer rack, we built it when we had this truck on here. It just clears underneath there, and it is close. Let me show you guys. We could have got our measurements on that any uh, closer if we tried. That has worked out very well. As the trailer lifts up, that distance will just continue to get greater. Bubba Dub loaded, chained down, and ready to go. Next thing we need to do is get these buckets loaded up. It's a lot of work. A lot of work. Dragging all these buckets around, but let me tell you, between the tail bucket and that rock bucket, I don't know if we would have got this job done any other way. 
I don't want to get my thumb out or get my chain out. I carry a board around with us, a chalk out one to keep it from. Just don't want to sit up there as pretty as the other ones. All right, the other bucket, not near as gentle, so. Build this throw it on there and go. Buckets alone about make a load for this trailer. You want that one laying down or standing up? Lay it down, it's fine. Okay. Good morning, sir. Good morning. You've been around here all morning. This is the first yeah. time we caught you on video. Yeah. All right. I was just telling you, man, Bubba Dump looks so much bigger on this trailer. Yeah. yeah all right. Here's the real question. Do you have any clue where we're going? No. I have no clue where we're going. I don't either. So, unfortunately or fortunately, however you want to look at it, we got Mr. Millennial up there leading the way. Yeah. And uh, supposedly we're going. Oh, Daryl's going for it. Is he going for it? He took off back behind the building. Or not Daryl. Greg. Greg. Yep. Well, there he goes. goes. Trying out his new uh, road over there. Good for him. Yeah, He'll be yeah. fine. He's got a Jeep, so. Yeah. All right. You don't know for sure where we're going. We're going that way somewhere. Yeah. We'll, uh, at least with this truck, we can unload it on the road if we have to. We can get plan for the excavator. Yeah. All right. We're off. Trucking. confidence in the old puppy dog to me. It is oh, your I side can. though. I can tell you one thing, I ain't gonna hurt Bubba Dump. <laughs> you gonna tell me I can try to take a mud flap out this morning? Yeah, I got mud flaps just as hard as the steel on that thing. Yeah, it got me in the head. Put a dent in my hat. <laughs> Everybody always wants to know how, we, how come we always have one mud flap. I don't know why, the trucks come factory with one mud flap. <laughs> That's a good question for Volvo, yeah. not us. All right. We're off.
think we've arrived. We have arrived. Boy, whenever they said it burned, she burnt now, didn't she, yeah, bud? There ain't nothing left. Concrete held up good. Yeah. The blocks. Uh, Look at this guy. All right, we are not in the best situation here. So we're gonna get unloaded. Get this off here. You guys haven't figured out yet, next job is uh, tearing down the house that is burnt. With it all being pretty much concrete block, we got a few uh, options we can go with it. So we're just trying to get equipment staged here today. Bubba Dub is way overkill for this job, but since it's available, we're gonna use it. Oh man, it's stuck in there, bud. Thanks for getting the trailer hooked up for me. No problem. I just opened one too soft and I didn't get stuck here. Oh, we're going to make it. I got a little sidetrack talking to Mr. Millennial and his family. Yeah. We're on the road. All right. We got to get, we got to go in the other way because we can't track the 210 across the bridge. Uh, Let the fun begin, my friend. Yeah. We don't want what you're selling. Hey, roadblock. Ahead, yellow Jeep. Don't run it over. Actually, it'd be okay if you did. Hey, newsflash, green truck bigger than yellow Jeep. I understand that. <laughs> That's why I had my flashers on the whole way. The we need to have a conversation about the other job, not on that camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call you. You'll call me? I'll call All right. you. See you, boys. Have a good day. What? Have a good day. You too. Glad you got to see us. Happy Easter. <laughs> behind the scenes this is the road coming in from the other direction do you think it shows on camera how steep this hill is i, I wish it would <laughs> it is it is a long ways down buddy yeah it is and here's the kicker the road we got to turn on is literally right, right at the bottom of the hill yeah. you guys hang on we will show you so here's a random fun fact the uh, last job we did for Bernie, where we put the uh, foundation and stuff in, yep. that's where he grew up at. Really? Yep. They're right there. Yeah. Bob still like lives there. You know, you used to live like right here, too. Didn't yep, you used to live right there. Right there. Right there. Used to. Yeah. All right. We are turning. This is going in the other direction because we can't make the turn on the other end. See, there's a bridge. The same bridge is on this end. But we can make it across this. Yeah, one. yeah. Is this same creek? No, it's, it's not the same. Same. <laughs> same road, same different road. creek. Okay. All right. What is it? Probably two miles down here. We'll be yeah. at the other end. Slight obstacle, folks. Somebody has lost some uh, ramps off their trailer, so Aaron's gonna. Throw them up against the tree there so they don't get ran over. Hopefully we'll do our good deed and somehow find them. 
It's awful nice of you, sir. Yeah, somebody should get somewhere to unload and ain't gonna have <laughs> Well, as sure as the ramps are, depending on what they got, they might be able to just run her off the back and hope for the best. Yeah. But <laughs> well, the other good news is we have a uh, yeah, Vader, Vader to the other side. Uh, yeah. My next question is, do you think I can get turned around without getting hung up? Yeah. 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 That is a good question. Hey. I know it was in the other video, but I made it up through there with uh, the back, the uh, dump truck. Yeah, you did. Just got to shoot from the dry spot. That's going to be our goal there. What dry spot? <laughs> well, that's what you call wishful thinking. Oh, right there. I don't see any water. It looks good. <laughs> All right. Let's cross our fingers for no stuck truck. Yeah. Right, we'll see if we can hit that one dry spot. So far. Just a few ruts he's gonna have to fix right here that I knew was gonna happen. And there he goes, getting on my drive after I told him do not get on the drive. Lucky didn't hit my mirror. You look at it, you truck, you parked around the way. I did not park in the way. I gotta leave, leave room for Jim, the UPS guy. You know what's going yeah. We don't leave him. <laughs> I think give us a whole lot of room, but I think we can get her, I think we can get her squeezed on there as wet as what it is. I don't want to get too far off the road because, uh, well, we're gonna be a little on the heavy side. Guys, we are officially loaded, chain. Oh, come on, truck. 
Limit change flagged all the good stuff. I went ahead and got Aaron loaded up with the roller. He's gonna take it on back to Derby after he helps us get unloaded. town of Leopold here. And where this county road comes out on that county road, there's a little bit of a blind hill right here, so you kind of got to get a visual right here and see nobody's coming. And then I'm hoping this trailer don't drag because it's kind of an awkward turn up out of here. I'm gonna grab the right gear and go for it. Here we go. Trigger 
were drug a little bit, but we had enough momentum. It didn't matter. All right. Let's head down to the uh, job site and get this bad boy up. coming up here on our left we don't go past here a whole lot this is what they call a uh, saddle lake the government put this in uh, back in the 70s I believe for uh, flood control to kind of help control erosion and flooding in some of the local creeks I'm out here in the middle of nowhere but nice little lake no swimming you can do some fishing in it but check this out down here this thing has got one crazy cool uh, emergency spillway on it I don't know if you guys can see the trees over there, it's going to be concrete. Well, if you can see them, they're too grown up. There's a little view on it, concrete. Overflow. That's the emergency, obviously. It's built for a big flood. Alright, we are rolling back in. Like we're going to unload right here on the road. This thing's got enough mud on the tracks. We should be able to get in and out of the yard there pretty easy without uh, tearing up too much, so. Let's get her unloaded. All right, hang on folks. We're gently gonna spin around here. We got a power line right over our head. Can't get too carried away. My goal is I think if I walk two thirds lay off the trailer and then kind of jump turn the back of the track still on the trailer shouldn't hurt anything and do minimal minimal damage to the old road here like I said there's so much mud on my tracks I'm not overly concerned about hurting anything we're gonna slide around pretty good so tell you what we're just gonna walk down flat and we'll do the old uh the old spin move here Leopold one more time. Well, at least this way, through town. Still gotta come this way back to town. 
a little better view of that kind of blind hill I was telling you about. This isn't really a tight turn, it's just, uh, I don't know, not a very safe turn. You see our mark on the road there where we drove just a little bit. It should be a whole lot lighter this next trip. That uh, 750 only weighs a quarter of what the 210 does. Well, nobody's come looking for the ramps yet. They're still uh, leaned up against the tree. See how long they stay there, I guess, until somebody realizes they lost them or somebody else realizes they need them. So. We have lost our safety net. We have lost our safety net of Aaron. Helping us get out if we get stuck. Let's hope turning around this time goes as smooth as turning around last time. We'll get that beauty loaded up. Head to Derby. just fine it's actually drying out a little bit since last time we were down here which was a good thing oh yeah we're moving we're gold like a little bit of a risk here and load this one a little off farther off to the side of the road hopefully don't bite us in the butt going for a little bit of rain tomorrow I like to take that, I uh, still got the skid steer down here. It's one last thing left on this job. And uh, clean up this road a little bit so it's not super muddy for the neighbors and everybody else involved. Hopefully we can still get out of the ditch. After we get loaded. Thanks to Mr. Aaron, we're still on the, uh... we're gonna call that the two-piece key program. I actually got a new key. We just gotta get the old one picked out of there. We'll be in good shape. All right, I normally don't load this way for the sake of not twisting it around on that road and making a bigger mess than what we need to. And it's a short haul. We're just gonna back this one on the truck. Not a huge deal, but one thing on this dozer I don't care for hardly at all is you cannot see the ripper at all from the cab. I do have this fancy camera right here you can turn on and see it, which is definitely nice, but good old fashioned visual never hurts anything. But this thing, this thing all in all has been pretty, uh, pretty impressive. We've enjoyed running for sure. Oh, there we go. Peter Totter. All right, we're getting a little pressed for time. Let me get this thing chained down. We'll, uh, we'll hit the good old road. Hopefully we get pulled out of the ditch just fine. Oh yeah, we're moving, we're gonna be golden. Got the uh, road cleaned off. We are off. My only concern at this point is I may have, hope I didn't miscalculate the old fuel. take it back to Derby, get it cleaned up, and they're gonna come pick it up here in the next couple days. So 
let's head back to the lot and I just want to kind of do a little quick review of the dozer, kind of what we thought of it, what we liked, what we didn't, how I performed the, uh, the usual. So we'll see you guys in there. guys as you can probably tell it is the next day and the weather is uh not cooperating it's a good thing we got that last job done we did that we hauled all this equipment out of because uh i can only imagine what that job site looks like this morning but before i leave you guys today i'll leave you guys on this video aaron and i spent a little time yesterday afternoon we got back i uh, got the 750 all cleaned up and got it ready to go and we also got the Bimco side dump all cleaned up and ready to go as you guys are know both of these are demos on the channel obviously this one from case cannot thank these guys enough they've been awesome to work with and so is Dimco. they've been absolutely amazing but before these guys disappear i want to just kind of give you some quick little final uh thoughts on this i'm not going to go into great detail on this machine uh because i kind of went into great detail on the review video of the 1650m so if you guys have it you may want to check that video out i'll try to link it down below but a lot of my thoughts on this dozer uh crossover or a lot of my thoughts on the 1650 crossover to the 750 and the the big takeaway guys and i'll be 100 percent honest with you and i apologize this rain if you got a little rain on your lens there is uh i truly believe after putting several i put about 400 hours on these dozers between the two of them these case dozers are actually really underrated for what they are they are really good they are really good little dozers a lot of my thoughts on the 1650 crossover to the 1750 there is a few little small differences i do believe this dozer here is balanced slightly better than the bigger dozer this dozer here does not have quite the same visibility as the bigger dozer as they scale this unit down you do lose some of the visibility and stuff these dozers are not built with all the creature comforts of some of their bigger competitors, but the basics are there and the basics are solid. I appreciate that. <clears throat> a lot of you guys have been asking me, am I going to purchase one of these dozers? Am I going to purchase this dozer? And the answer is highly likely. This particular dozer here is actually the case, the actual case demo and engineering dozer so it's not technically for sale so purchasing this actual unit is not even an option this is one they just kind of sent to us for our feedback and get a little bit of uh exposure so it's actually going back to uh going back to its home at the uh factory to get some 
I guess uh, get some more tests. This is the, the dozer they use to continually improve the product and part of us sending it to us was to help them do that. I think we were able to give them some good feedback uh, to hopefully continue to improve the product. But the goal for this year, I'm actually filming this on Christmas Eve, the goal for this year 2023 was to upgrade the D4 uh, to a newer cab unit and possibly put grade control on it. Unfortunately, or fortunately for us, uh, we ended up purchasing a 30 acre farm kind of out of the blue that come up out of nowhere. And uh, a lot of the dozer budget got redirected to that. But 2024, uh, the, we, gotta get a, we gotta get a dozer upgraded. I'm still not 100% for sure what it is, but I will tell you guys, Case is probably one of the, uh, if we end up going with the new dozer, Case is probably the leading candidate at this point for a lot of different reasons. And I'll cover those a little more as that process <coughs> excuse me as that process unfolds but last but not least i want to cover the demco side dump trailer there's actually two videos we filmed with this trailer i've completely lost i don't know where they went uh, i know there was other multiple videos that ended up coming out later we ended up using this thing quite a bit more than what i expected i told the demco guys whenever they sent it to me i'm like listen we just don't use a dump trailer a whole lot behind a semi the main reason is they're hard to get around they don't get around like a normal truck would and usually whenever you get a semi style dump trailer they become really unstable and you got to have an ideal spot to dump well this trailer right here fixed problem number two 100 i was uh I, I was complete novice complete rookie knew nothing about these trailers um was even skeptical about even trying one out i am 100 a believer 100% sold on this idea. I don't even need a side dump trailer. I want this side dump trailer. This thing here, if I ever buy another trailer, <clears throat> dump trailer to pull behind the semi, it will be a side dump. 100% guaranteed, no questions asked. This thing absolutely uh, impressed the hell out of me with the way it pulled, the way it handled, the way it dumped, its capacities, its capabilities. There was not one thing about this trailer that was a disappointment it uh it was uh it was a very very pleasant surprise i know a lot of you guys pointed out in the comments that it has some limitations you can't spread with it you can't do this you can't do that i agree there is a few limitations first off very few people spread gravel with a uh, with an actual framed or unframed trailer that, that's usually left to the uh, triaxles or a, a truck mounted bed type vehicle there are some job sites where you need to back in off the road and dump out the back. Obviously that's not an option with this trailer, but here's my argument to that. This trailer opens up way more opportunities. It opens up way more doors than what it closes. And it is so much safer, so much safer to operate. Uh, I don't know how to put it into words. I don't know how to put it into words. It's absolutely awesome. That thing has been, that thing has been a, a huge surprise well probably one of the bigger bigger surprises that i've ever demoed so anyways hopefully i covered that well i truly 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 do appreciate you guys supporting this channel by subscribing commenting engaging giving me your thoughts and opinions on this because some of you guys have way more experience with these things than what i do uh, so it's nice to see some of that stuff in the comments from some time and with you guys doing all that it gives me opportunities to try stuff out like this and i'm not gonna lie I'm like a big kid at Christmas whenever something shows up. So obviously the weather's not the greatest. We're getting ready to uh, go on vacation here for Christmas. I know you guys are probably seeing this well after Christmas, but uh, hopefully you guys had a good holiday season. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. I greatly appreciate it. I'm gonna get out of the rain, try to stay dry. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later guys.